Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to bring you a new game called Duelist. Uh, this game is kind of a um, mix between um, Hearthstone and XCOM. Uh, so basically you have cards and you have a board where you can move your uh, general which is the main card that is going to summon other minions so you can fight. So let's just uh, start with um, seeing here some battle play. So let's go to practice. I'll just use one of my decks that I created against, um, I don't know, the these ones. Because uh, I think this one is going to be easy, let's see. So this game has a very unique interface, it's very good, very clean, I like games that has have a good interface. Um, as you see, it's not uh, top of the line graphics, but um, it plays very well, I, I like it very much. So I like the finishing up, I like the cleanliness of the, the game. And so, basically, you are this guy, you are the general, so... You can move it whenever you want, uh, if it is in on the range of, of its movement path, and then you can summon uh, minions uh, around him or her. So let's summon uh, this minion here. Each minion can have um, different uh, passives or skills, uh, everything that uh, that you need to know about the minion, you just have to move your mouth over the minion and it will say there. Uh, for example, this minion has three, uh, plus 3 attack on your opponent's turn. Uh, so if I end the turn here, it will have um, more attack, 4-4. Four, four. Now it's, it's time to move... Um, oh, this, these balls here that are floating, these are mana balls. When you catch these mana balls on your turn, it uh, means that in that turn you'll have one extra mana. So you just got one mana ball and it summoned uh, a minion. He tried to attack my minion but um, he died because I had more attack and more health. Let's now move this minion to one of the mana balls so I have one more mana, now I have four mana and I also want that mana ball, that would be that would be amazing, okay let's summon this one and I can summon this guy so for example this guy has provoke it means that any uh, enemy minion or enemy uh, that is around him will have to attack him first uh, before doing anything else even moving it cannot move um, so it's kind of a tank uh, you can say um, and this guy here for example um, it has passive skill that whenever uh, the enemy uses a spell um, this guy transforms and becomes stronger So let's see what's going to be his move now. Okay, so he went straight to the provoke minion. He has to attack him now. He cannot move from there. And he's going to use Tempest. Okay, he deals two damage to everything. So it's going to kill two of my minions. Hmm, good job. But this one, yeah. So I used the spell and this, this guy just got a lot stronger. So, also, anytime you attack uh, a minion, you need to be careful because uh, attacking um, attacking uh, someone makes you uh, makes you take damage. And for example, this minion is five three, and his general is two twenty two. So to attack twenty two health, when I attack him, I'm going to deal. 
5 damage, but he's going to deal 2 of damage, so he's going to deal his attack uh, back to me. Now, another mechanic I can show you is this minion, this is a ranged minion. So ranged minions can attack from anywhere, uh, meaning that he can be on the other side of the field and attack something on this side. Um, so these are very, uh, very important minions to have. Uh, in certain certain games, uh, especially when you have some factions which move very slowly, and you can just snipe them from from afar. He just used another spell, and that gave a lot more damage to my minion. But he's going to kill him or not? Okay. Very bad move there. Okay, so he just took a lot of damage from my minion. The moon died, but it took a lot of damage. Um, now I'm going to summon this one. This one is called. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not saying the name soft cards because uh, this is a fairly new game for me, uh, so I don't know the game of the cards yet. Um, it's called Fenrir, Fenrir War Master, and when he dies, he just basically summons a wolf with the same stats that he has. So a 3 2 wolf. Uh, so let's move here, let's attack directly to general. Okay. And now uh, I can also, I have mana to spare, uh, I can summon this guy, just because I can. And I can use this spell, this is um, it's called blood bound spell, and it's uh, bound to your general, so each general has a different one. And for this general, um, it is the war bird. So what it does, it does the two of damage to any enemy on the column of the general. So it means this line here, this column here. Now let's end the turn and see what's going to do next. So he's summoning a Okay, this minion has celerity. Celerity means that it can attack two times in the same turn. Um, no worries. Uh, so I'm just going to win because uh, only has two health. So it's, yeah, it's done. So because basically, this is the um, how you play it. Um, when you get, when you get. Um, Strong when you level up your faction, you'll receive cards as you see here. My faction just went to level 10, so I received these uh, three cards, uh, which is an avalanche spell. And so that's it, that's the basics of, of, of this game. Obviously, uh, each faction has its kind of gameplay, for example, these Magmar spells aspects for what I understand they are very their general moves slowly but he summons very powerful minions and he, the general itself is very powerful so you you have to get as far away from the general as possible uh, if you don't want to lose the game and these abyssal ones they summon a lot of minions this ones I think it's a kind of buff this buff um, Faction, it gives a lot of buffs and these buffs. I don't, I'm not sure, but I think that's it. At least from the tutorial, that's what I understood. These guys are a pain, a pain because they just they destroy your whole uh, strategy. They teleport minions from one side to another, and, and it's crazy. And these guys, uh, they kind of buff any minion that is close to the general. So this is the basics. Um, now what I can show more, okay. So how you get more cards in this game? Um, obviously this is a free to play game. Uh, I, I, I forgot to mention, this is a free to play game. You can download it from Steam. And uh, obviously they have to make money from somewhere. And the way that they make money is uh, by selling card packs. 
And the card packs here are called uh, Spirit Orbs. Um, you have different ones. I think it's uh, each one is um, it's a s expansion or something. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but for example, let's buy this one with on 100 gold. Gold is the currency that you win freely on the game. And these diamonds are the currency that you have to use real money for. So when you buy an orb, you can just go here and open the orb. And it will give you five cards. Yeah, five cards. And uh, the color of these crystals show you the rarity of the card. So this is four uncommon, uh, four uh, commons, one uncommon. And if it was purple, it would be a rare. If it was uh, yellow or orange, it would be a legendary. So this normal cards here. Um, what I can show now? Oh, you can get a lot of gold, at, at least in the beginning, because you have these challenges here, the solo challenges. Each challenge uh, has kind of a mechanics to it, and when you do it, you receive uh, gold uh, for completing the challenge. Um, it's good to do the challenge. Uh, I will, I would recommend to do the challenge as soon as you can. Um, because they will not only give you gold, they also teach you uh, about the game. Because they teach you mechanics, they teach you uh, strategy, strategy of uh, factions. Um, it's a very good uh, place to, to learn the basics. The, the game also offers a tutorial, but it's a um, basic tutorial. Uh, so it's basically how to move your, your minions to play, to, to, to win the game. Uh, but not exactly mechanics of each faction. So I think it's, I think it's important to, to, to be aware of this and to do it uh, as soon as possible. So to finish this video, I can go play um, Season Ladder. This is a ranked gameplay, so um, probably I will lose. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, let's hope that I win, but... There are a lot of guys with very good cards, <laughs> and I'm just starting. I just hate when when, when uh, it's someone with the same faction uh, as I am, uh, because it's just then it's just luck. Okay, so it's Venner. Venner can be a pain. It depends on the cards that he has, but basically I need to be careful. Uh, around him because it will buff any minion that is very close to him so I need to keep my distance okay I will um, stay with this card I could replace two of them but I think they have low mana cost so I can use them as soon as I start playing actually I should have sh I should have replaced one okay I'm going to replace one uh, I don't know I want these cards. Okay, let's replace this one. Okay, cool. So I can just obtain this mana crystal, which is very good. And okay, that's it. So I just uh, use the mana crystal for nothing, <laughs> but at least he won't get the mana crystal himself. So I'm happy with it. Going to get one. <laughs> hmm. That's going to some uh, obviously the wing blade. Ah, oh, that. This is a, I think it's a very powerful card because it's only two mana and it can get three three if it's close to to the general. And it's summoning two cards. Okay, not good. Okay, so if I get this one, what can do? Nothing special, but I think I want to 
Mm. Oh no, okay. Let's also on this one. And this card uh, has has rush. Rush means that it can attack as soon as it's summoned. So I'll just destroy this guy because I hate this guy. Um, I'll just destroy this minion too. So we'll be we'll be back to square one. What's it going to do? I don't know, most people kind of um, almost. Whoops, what, did, what has he done? Okay, he buffed himself with a legendary. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. It prevents damage. Ah, oh. really? Really? Okay. Okay then. What can I do? I'll just take this thing. I summon the ranged. Trying to make him go for it, or at least take some damage. I don't know. It's a very powerful artifact. Come on. Plus two attack, and first time it gets damage, it can't can take damage really. Prevent two, okay. Let's prevent two of it. Still, still, it's a lot. Okay. Um. What the fuck is this? Uh, come on. Okay. Some of this one. This minion has provoke, so it has to attack. He has to attack him before attacking me, or if I'm doing anything else. Let me just move. I could transform this guy, but I don't want to right now. Okay, I'm just use this spell. The blunt bomb spell, because I have one mana to use. Can't do anything else, so... Oh, we did it. Oh, okay. Seriously. What the hell, man? So many cards that I have never seen before. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, it's going to buff him now. Okay, it's going to buff him again? Really? Just kill them, okay. I think I'm going to lose. <laughs> I don't have anything. Uh, oh my god, okay. I think I'm going to summon this guy again. No, oh, okay. Let's go here. Summon this guy here. So, all these people have to attack him. And. Let's buff this guy. It's going to have six of attack. So attacking him will not be a good thing. And let's end the turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whenever anything is healed, okay. So I got a buff here because <clears throat> he healed this guy and when he heals anything, this guy gets 1 plus on attack and health. Skips buffing. Oh, it's a pain. Oh no. Really? How much mana do we have? I'm just to die here. <clears throat> Let's see, these guys are... They are very strong. 
You cannot get close. If you get close, there's just buffer everything and it's crazy. Okay, I think I will do this because I prefer to transform this guy into a 3-3 three, three, than have 4 of attack. Let's just end it. Oh, I should have used this one. Because oh, okay. uh, there were times that I lose I, I, I lose the game uh, because I don't use this thing. And the guy just literally ends the game with one health. Just because I forgot to use this in one turn, I just lose the game. Uh, uh, uh. And it's just died now, okay. I think it's over. Yeah, mm. it's a very powerful minion, but can't do anything. Can't do anything. No. Mm, I could kill this one, but what for? Okay, so I didn't hand it. It's very strong. And this, this relic, really. So, as you can see, uh, having very good cards, having legendary cards, uh, it just makes you overpowerful. So, this game has obviously the potential to be a uh, pay to win, uh, because the more you spend on, on cards, the more. Uh, the more cards you will have, the more rare cards, the more legendary cards. But um, you can get a lot of gold doing um, playing and doing these solo challenges and doing uh, doing these quests. I haven't shown it, I think. So every day it gets one quest here, and when 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 you play when you do the quest, you receive gold. So here I have, for example, play 8 games, and just, if you play 8 games, you receive 50 gold. Uh, this is a very good way to get gold, for then uh, go here and buy these spirit orbs. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, so if you like it, just leave a like. Um, if you want to see more videos of, of this game or other games uh, from this channel, uh, hit subscribe, I will try to post uh, more games in the future. And uh, in terms of the duelist, I think I will post some more new videos, uh, probably some talking about the differences in terms of um, of the factions, what are the mechanics of each faction, uh, although um, I have to learn about them first because it's, just, it's a new game for me uh, and I'm not comfortable speaking about something if I don't know exactly what I'm speaking about uh, and I don't want to give you guys wrong information. So uh, I need to play uh, around with it and just uh, then I can talk about these different factions and what are uh, their mechanics. So thank you, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy it.